वेलकम से सब जाना आज को इस मोडल सेट क्वेश्चन पेपर सोलूसन को मा आज के इस वीडियो में सीटिबीटी अंतर्गत केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट डिप्लोमा थ्री इयर्स को लगी मोडल क्वेश्चन लीर उपस्थित भू जिस में फुल मार्क सिक्सटी रस मार्क ट्वेंटी फोर को रहने यहाँ सोध संपूर्ण क्वेश्चन एंसर आँदो सीटिबीटी डिप्लोमा इंजीनियरिंग लेवल फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर को लगी अति नई महत्वपूर्ण क्वेश्चन रहेगा ये क्वेश्चन नोट कर तैयारी यहाँ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन रहे व्हाट इज ग्राम इक्विवेलेंट इन अ विक्टर मेयर्स एक्सपेरिमेंट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन टू नाइन टू सिक्स ग्राम अफ अ लिक्विड डिस्प्लेस्ड अन भेपोराइजेशन ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट नाइन एम एल अफ एयर कलेक्टेड अवर वाटर एट सिक्सटीन डिग्री सेल्सिंड सेवेन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एम एम प्रेसर क्याकुलेट द भेपर डेन्सिटी एंड मोलिकुलर वेट अफ द लिक्विड यहाँ एक क्वेश्चन टेन्सन दिए एट सिक्सटीन डिग्री सेल्सि थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स एम एम इसको एंसर रहे द क्वांटिटी अफ एन एलिमेंट और कंपाउंड दैट हेज अ मस इन ग्राम इक्वल टू द इक्विवेलेंट वेट इज कल्ड ग्राम इक्विवेलेंट एज फर इक्जापल वन ग्राम इक्विवेलेंट अफ अक्सिजन इक्वल टू एट ग्राम अफ अक्सिजन वन ग्राम इक्विवेलेंट अफ हाइड्रोजन इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जेरो जेरो एट ग्राम अफ हाइड्रोजन अगेन नाउ वेट अफ लिक्विड यहाँ दिए क्वेश्चन में जेरो पॉइंट जेरो नाइन टू सिक्स ग्राम भोल्यूम अफ भेपर प्रोड्यूस्ड भी वन इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट नाइन एम एल टेम्परेचर टी वन इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू हंड्रेड सेवेन्टी थ्री इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड नाइन्टीन कैल टू हंड्रेड एट्टी नाइन कैलविन प्रेसर अफ इक्वल टू 753.5 माइनस 13.5 इक्वल टू 740 एमएम एचजी एट एनटीपी वी नो दैट पी टू इक्वल टू 760 एमएम ऑफ एचजी टी टू इक्वल टू 273 केल्विन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट बी टू इक्वल टू व्हाट वी नो दैट पी वन बी वन अपन टी वन इक्वल टू पी टू बी टू अपन टी टू और बी टू इक्वल टू पी वन बी वन टी टू अपन पी टू टी वन यार By calculating V2 equal to 740 into 28.9 into 273 upon 760 into 289, which is equal to or V2 equal to 26.58 mL. Weight of 26.58 mL of hydrogen at NTP equal to 26.58 into 0.000089. Here, 0.00089 is the density of hydrogen at NTP, and therefore we got weight equal to 0.0023656 gram of hydrogen or vapor. Here, vapor density equal to 0.0926 upon 0.0023656. Which is equal to 29, 39.14. Here vapor density is 39.14. Now molecular weight equal to 2 into vapor density, or 2 into 39.14 equal to 78.28. Next question is 1B. What information do you get from the following chemical equation? Calcium carbonate plus 2 hydrochloric acid gives calcium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. इसको एंसर रहे इन्फर्मेशन अबटेन फ्रम गिवेन केमिकल रिएक्शन इज वेन क्यासियम कार्बोनेट रिएक्ट्स विथ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड गिव्स क्यासियम क्लोराइड वाटर एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस अदर इन्फर्मेशन वन मोल अफ क्यासियम कार्बोनेट रिएक्ट्स विथ टू मोल अफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड गिव्स वन मोल अफ क्यासियम क्लोराइड वन मोल अफ वाटर एंड वन मोल अफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड थर्ड इन्फर्मेशन अबटेन इज हंड्रेड ग्राम अफ क्यासियम कार्बोनेट रिएक्ट विथ सेवेन्टी थ्री ग्राम अफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड गिफ्स वन हंड्रेड इलेवेन ग्राम अफ क्यासियम क्लोराइड फोर्टी फोर ग्राम अफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड एटीन ग्राम अफ वाटर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू नंबर स्टेट ड्यू लॉन्ग पेटिट स्लॉग क्याकुलेट द वेट अफ वन मोलिक्यूल अफ क्यासियम कार्बोनेट एंड टू पॉइंट टू फोर लिटर अफ अक्सिजन एट एनटीपी इसको एंसर रहे ड्यूलॉंग एंड पेटिट्स ल 
the product of atomic weight and a specific heat of solid element is equal to approximately 6.4 or atomic weight into a specific heat equal to 6.4. Next one is one molecule of calcium carbonate or weight of one molecule of calcium carbonate. Here molecular weight equal to 100 or 1 into 40 plus 1 into 12 plus 3 into 16 which is equal to 100. Therefore one mole of calcium carbonate is equal to 100 gram or weight of 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecule equal to 100 gram or one molecule equal to 100 upon 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 which is equal to 16.57 into 10 to the power minus 23 gram. Next is weight of 2.24 liter of oxygen at NTP. Here molecular weight of oxygen equal to 32 or 2 into 16 equal to 32. At NTP, 1 mole of oxygen equal to 32 gram or 22.4 liter of oxygen equal to 32 gram or 1 liter of oxygen equal to 32 upon 22.4 gram or 2.24 liter of oxygen equal to 32 upon 22.24 upon 22.4 gram which is equal to 3.2 gram or also we can write 2.24 liter of oxygen equal to 32 into 2.24 upon 22.4 which is equal to 3.2 gram next question is b number prove that molecular weight of volatile substance is twice of its vapor density so answer right vapor density it is defined as the ratio of the weight of certain volume of that gas to the weight of the same volume of hydrogen under similar condition of temperature and pressure or vapor density equal to weight of V volume of the gas upon weight of V volume of hydrogen. Applying Avogadro's hypothesis, vapor density equal to weight of N molecules of the gas upon weight of N molecule of hydrogen or vapor density equal to weight of one molecule of the gas upon weight of one molecule of hydrogen or vapor density equal to molecular weight upon two into weight of one H atom or H atom or vapor density equal to molecular weight upon two into one. Since atomic weight of hydrogen is one, therefore molecular weight equal to two into Vd. Next question is three number. Write short notes on any two here given. The one number is Dalton atomic theory. Second formula. Third, Laurie and Brunstead concept of acid and base. The main postulates of Dalton's atomic theory are all matters are made up of extremely tiny indivisible particles called atoms. Second, Atoms of the same element are identical in all respects. Third, atoms of the different element are different in all respects. Fourth, atoms can't be created, destroyed, or transformed into other elements. Fifth, atoms combine in simple whole ratio to give compound. Sixth, relative number and kind of an atom remains fixed in compound. Next is formula. The symbolic representation of the molecule of the compound is called molecular formula or formula. Let when some electropositive radical A combine with electronegative radical B to form compound AB. The combination of these radicals in such a way that product of balances and number of radicals is the same for both radicals. We apply Chris Karas method to write formula or molecular formula as for example magnesium chloride here magnesium having valency 2 chloride having 1 therefore we got by crisscross magnesium chloride mgcl2 cupric nitrate here cupric cu having valency 2 nitrate 1 and by crisscross we got molecular formula cu no3 whole 2 similarly aluminium chloride aluminium having valency 3 chloride 1 by crisscross method we got ALCL3. The next short note is Laurie and Bronsted concept of acid and base. An acid is a substance which has tendency to donate one or more protons and base are the substance 
which has tendency to accept proton given by acid in solution. As for example, Lowry and Bronsted acid are hydrochloric and sulfuric acid. H2O plus HCl gives H3O plus plus Cl minus. H2O plus H2SO4 gives H3O plus plus SO4 minus. Similarly, Bronsted Lowry base are ammonia and hydroxide. Here NH3 plus H3O plus gives NH4 plus plus H2O. OH minus plus H3O plus gives H2O. Here acids donate proton and base accept that proton given by acid. Next question is 4A. Give both body scheme for the distribution of electron in major cells. Write the electronic configuration of chromium here atomic number 24 in the terms of sp, d and f orbitals. This is answer to explain the arrangement of electron in atom, bore and body proposed a scheme which is based on given main points. The first, the maximum number of electrons that can be present in an orbit is 2n square where n is the number of orbit for n equal to 1 k cell. It has a maximum number of 2, a, 2 into 1 square equal to 2 electrons. The second orbit n equal to 2 for L cell. Maximum number of 2 into 2 square equal to 8 electrons. For third, n equal to 3 or M cell. Maximum number of 2 into 3 square equal to 18 electrons and so on. The outermost orbit cannot have more than 8 electrons and the next to outermost cannot have more than 18 electrons. Third, New orbit filled electrons when penultimate orbit attain 8 electrons. Now electronic configuration of chromium. Chromium has atomic number 24 or 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1 and 3d5. Next is B. Calculate the molecular weight of a dibasic 0.45 gram of which is required 200 ml of n by 2 n by 20 sodium hydroxide solution for neutralization. Let's go answer here. 200 ml of n by 2 20 NaOH solution equal to 10 ml of 1 n NaOH. Here normality increases then volume decreases. 10 ml of 1 n NaOH contains 0.45 gram of acid or 10 ml of 1N NaOH neutralize 0.45 gram of acid. 1000 ml of NaOH neutralize 0.45 into 1000 equal to 45 gram of acid. And equivalent weight of acid equal to 45. Here in question given, basicity of acid is 2. Now we know that molecular weight equal to basicity into equivalent weight. Therefore 2 into 45 equal to 90. Next question is 5A. Define oxidizing agent and reducing agent with two examples. Balance the following equation by oxidation number method. Here equation is copper plus sulfuric acid gives copper sulfate plus sulfur dioxide plus water. So answer I question, oxidizing agent. The chemicals which oxidize others but itself get reduced are called oxidizing agent. Example nitric acid, potassium permanganate, chlorine, magnesium dioxide. Reducing agent. The chemicals which reduce others but itself get oxidized are called reducing agent. Example, hydrogen, carbon, carbon monoxide, hydrogen iodide. For next part, the given chemical equation is copper plus sulfuric acid gives copper sulfate plus sulfur dioxide plus water. Here, copper having oxidation number 0, that change into copper sulfate plus 2. In sulfuric acid, sulfur has oxidation number plus 6, that change into plus 4 in sulfur dioxide. Therefore, copper oxidation occurs, sulfur gets reduced or a reduction occurs. Here, change in oxidation number of copper equal to plus 2 minus 0, 2. Change in oxidation number of sulfur plus 4 minus plus 6 equal to minus 2. Now, the equation becomes copper plus sulfuric acid change into copper sulfate plus sulfur dioxide plus water. To balance sulfur, add one molecule of sulfuric acid in a reactant. And here we got 
copper plus 2H2SO4 gives copper sulfate plus sulfur dioxide plus water. To balance oxygen and hydrogen, add two or H2O in product that gives Cu plus 2H2SO4 gives CuSO4 or copper sulfate plus sulfur dioxide plus water. Here it is called balance chemical reaction. Next question is B. State Mendeleev's periodic law. Just to answer I question, Mendeleev's periodic law. Physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic function to their atomic mass. The periodic table obtained by arranging elements on increasing order of atomic mass is called Mendeleev's periodic table. According to this, atomic mass is the fundamental to the atoms. Next question is 6a. What is covalent bond? How is it formed? Explain with example. This answer I question, covalent bond. The chemical bond formed by sharing of electrons among atoms is called covalent bond. It is weaker in nature and formed by sharing of electrons among nonmetals. As for example, covalent form bond is formed in methane as here carbon share one electron with each hydrogen and the bond form is covalent bond methane CH4. Here carbon is bonded by covalent bond with four hydrogen. Next question is B. Calculate the weight of copper metal deposited during the passage of 2.5 ampere of current through the solution of copper sulfate for 50 minutes. This answer is right. Your current I equal to 2.5 or 50 ampere time 50 minutes equal to 50 into 60, 3000 seconds. Weight of copper deposited W equal to what? Your equivalent weight of copper is 63.5 upon 2 because valency of copper is 2. Therefore, we got 31.75. We know that weight of a metal deposited from Faraday's first law of electrolysis W equal to ZIT or Z is equal to E upon F, therefore W equal to E upon F into IT. Therefore, W equal to 31.75 upon 96,500 into 2.5 into 3,000, which is equal to 2.46 gram of copper deposited.